Welcome to our 10th annual Verde Exchange Green Market Makers Conference here in Los Angeles. My name is Bill Allen. I am the CEO of the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation, and I'm very pleased to see you all here this morning. In fact, I'm particularly pleased to see that our international visitors were able to make it into the country. We're genuinely pleased that you're here this morning because your presence helps ensure a robust conversation about the local, regional, national, and global green marketplace. And with the changes emanating from our nation's capital, it is clear that our conversations today may be the most important ever amongst us in the 10 years of this organization. There is much debate about the origin of the saying, may you live in interesting times. Some see it as a blessing, some see it as a curse. But whatever the case may be, whether a blessing or a curse, it has certainly been visited upon us. And so we're glad that you're all here with us to help us better understand and navigate these times that we live in and the opportunities and challenges that they present to us. The LADC is very proud to be a sponsor of the Verde Exchange Conference for the 10th year in a row and to have it held each year here in Los Angeles. The LADC is a true public-private partnership engaging the business, government, and education communities in a collaborative effort to grow a stronger, more sustainable, and more inclusive economy that raises standards of living for the 10 million residents of Los Angeles County. We at the LADC and our World Trade Center have helped attract or retain or grow more than 220,000 direct jobs for the residents of this county, jobs that provide more than 12 billion dollars in combined wages and benefits. And we have helped our county's economy grow to be a truly nation-sized economy, exceeding $660 billion. Only 20 nations in the world exceed LA County's annual economic impact. We're not only the creative and entertainment capitals of the world, but we're also the manufacturing and international trade capitals of America. That's right, we have more firms and more people manufacturing things here in L.A. County than any other across the United States. And our manufacturing sector is increasingly advanced and green. We make everything from sensors to satellites, from e-bikes to e-buses, from batteries and charging stations to biomedical devices. And we have more high-tech jobs than any other county in America. And we export what we make to the rest of the world through the two largest seaports in the Western Hemisphere, the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Our LA Customs District is our nation's largest, moving more than $400 billion worth of goods each year and importing more than 40% of all the waterborne containerized cargo coming into America. We are America's gateway to the global economy. And we continue to make great progress greening every aspect of our economy, from our industry clusters to our built environment, from our energy sources to our waste management and our personal and commercial and public transportation vehicles. That's why we're the nation's number one market for electric and hybrid vehicles and home to America's greenest seaports. That's also why we're number one in clean tech startups and home to hundreds of firms advancing air quality improvement, solar management, water desalination, waste to energy, energy storage and advanced transportation. In fact, our LAEDC E4 Mobility Alliance, of which many of you are members, has been working for years engaging more than 1,000 regional stakeholders to develop Southern California as the leader in advanced transportation, including maximizing plug-in electric, natural gas, and fuel cell vehicle adoption rates, fleet conversion, ride sharing, and a range of e-mobility solutions that will enhance a robust manufacturing sector and infrastructure deployment resulting in significant job growth and investment throughout our region, all while creating a healthier and more sustainable environment for us all. LA's nationally recognized LA Clean Tech Incubator has opened its new 60,000 square foot LaCrette's Innovation Campus on 3.2 acres in downtown LA with R&D and prototyping labs, as well as flexible office space and a workforce training center, all supported by and co-located with energy efficiency and technology laboratories for the largest municipally owned water and power utility in the country, the LA Department of Water and Power. We have nation leading public policy in place at the state and local level designed to dramatically reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, encourage the use of renewable energy, 
lower the carbon intensity of our fuels, incentivize alternative fuel vehicles, and increase the energy efficiency of our buildings and appliances. And our world-class research universities are at the forefront of developing the extraordinary advances in science, as well as the innovative products, services, and processes that are revolutionizing the global green economy. These are the reasons why Verde Exchange founder and chairman David Abel launched his first Green Market Makers Conference here in Los Angeles 10 years ago, inviting the world's best and brightest inventors, investors, entrepreneurs, public policymakers, and regulators to gather in this global hub for clean technology to discuss what is already in this green marketplace, what is yet needed, and what are the factors facilitating or impeding those opportunities. And for the 10th year in a row, our attendees have come from all around the world. And our international visitors, we're confident that you will learn a great deal about the extraordinary market opportunities here in Los Angeles County and across the state of California. And we stand ready to help you enter and achieve success in this opportunity-rich environment, as well as to use our unparalleled resources and trade infrastructure to accelerate your global growth. It's now my pleasure to introduce the man whose vision, leadership, and global network of colleagues and collaborators have enabled us to gather here yet again to experience enlightening presentations, address challenging questions, and help develop our knowledge, insights, and perhaps most importantly, relationships that will empower each of us to play more effective roles in the further development of this transformative aspect of our global economy. Please help me welcome the founder and chairman of the Verde Exchange Institute, Mr. David Abel. Well, Bill Allen stole all my lines, so uh, I'll be brief and get on to the supervisor very quickly. I just want to say that looking out at the audience here, and it'll almost double during the course of the day and tomorrow, um, I realized what distance we've traveled in that 10 years of time when our first conference, uh, uh, motivated by our, my relationship with Mary Nichols at the time, who was in Bali at a UN conference during our, our conference in LA, and then Al Gore was in getting a Nobel Prize at the same time. We linked them together on public radio with, from the conference to talk about moving to a next phase from arguing the advancement of the cause to execution. We've been 10 years now in execution. And you're going to see, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, in the 50 panels and with the 170 speakers that are involved as experts across the sectors of energy, water, transport, finance, green build, our partnership with the Urban Land Institute tomorrow and future build, how much execution has taken place and what the trajectory of change is. And lastly, just to, uh, two other comments. One, I didn't do this as a personality thing. I did this to try to keep up with my son, who was moving from a green communist to a green capitalist about a decade ago <laughs> under the tutelage of Bob Hertzberg. And I wanted to understand what he was doing. And then I fell in love with the work you all are doing. So that's the motivation. The second thing I'll say is I've already had the advantage of what you're about to experience, which is putting you all together in this conference, bringing you together on the panels and whatever has engaged me in scores and hundreds of conversations. I'm already jazzed. You have the advantage now over the next two days of experience what I've experienced putting this together. There are some incredible people involved in this conference that you need to reach out and talk to in the five or 10 minutes we give you between panel session changes. So it should be a real challenge. So I want to turn it back to Bill and invite somebody who's also been a part of this conference from almost its origin and uh, to introduce him. So Bill. So David and I get to welcome you uh, on behalf of the LADC and Verde Exchange, but we want you to be properly welcomed to the County of Los Angeles by the chairman of its board of supervisors who highly values the collective work that we all do in this room. So to officially welcome you to this great county of Los Angeles, it's my distinct privilege to be able to give a proper introduction to a man who has honorably served our city, our county, and our state for more than 25 years. Since he was overwhelmingly elected in 2008 as LA County Supervisor for the Second District, Mark Ridley Thomas has distinguished himself as an aggressive advocate for the two million people in his district and the 10 million people across our county. 
He's promoted their interests on a variety of fronts, including transportation, job creation, local hiring. He's been reelected twice by enormous margins, and he is leading a commitment in our county to economic development and industry cluster development for industries like clean energy, advanced transportation, biotechnology. And it was his singular leadership that allowed us to celebrate the grand reopening of the county's magnificent new Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital that he worked so passionately and persistently to make possible, creating more than 1,000 well-paying jobs in the area and providing top quality medical care to more than one million residents in South Los Angeles. Prior to his election to our Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Ridley Thomas served the 28th District in the California State Senate, where he chaired the Senate's Committee on Business, Professions, and Economic Development. He was first elected to public office in 1991 and served with distinction on the Los Angeles City Council for nearly a dozen years, later served two terms in our California State Assembly, where he chaired the Assembly Democratic Caucus. Please help me welcome a true triple bottom line leader, a passionate advocate for our economy, our workforce, and our environment, the chairman of the board of the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, Mark Ridley Thomas. Well, thank you very much, uh, Bill. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have two assignments. One is um, uh, to call our attention to the international scene and to cause you just for a moment to express your solidarity and your sympathies with the people of Canada, specifically Quebec and the Quebec Islamic Cultural Center, uh, where there was an unspeakable act of terrorism as it's being described. And so it's been uh, mine to ask you just for a moment of silence. We thank you. It's hard to transition from that to a celebratory moment, uh, but we will do our best and work our way through and hope that we'll, there will be less and less of that and more and more of this, more and more opportunities to celebrate uh, the leadership and the work of David Abel, uh, joined with Bill Allen as we salute 10 years of the Verde Exchange Conference. Why don't you give them a big round of applause, David and Bill. <clears throat> they both continue to push the green agenda across Los Angeles County, and for that we simply pause to applaud. There is no more dynamic an issue uh, than the issue of the green economy for uh, many of us who claim to have environmentalist credentials, uh, entrepreneurial credentials, uh, while our national leaders, one in particular, may need a refresher course on the matter of climate change you can applause right there. There's a big applaud right there. If you're at right, right, right there. Uh, I'm here to encourage you right through this conversation. It's in Los Angeles that we see businesses and environmentalists and local leaders continue to step up um, with big ideas. You heard some of them mentioned by both David and Bill, big ideas in a big county. I'm pleased that LA County strives to be a part of that solution and I just uh, want to give a few examples of what uh, we are working on as we extend to you a welcome. That welcome is not symbolic, it is substantive. It is essentially to suggest to you that we welcome you to join us and cause us to join you in advancing this extraordinary agendas, agenda. Matters uh, which I trust you'll 
dive into more deeply over the next few days. I have no doubt about it, but let me give you just one example. Metro, uh, our transportation agency with the passage of the Measure M is a critical player in this conversation. And there are Metro persons here this morning that will uh, give indication of that. The board has made it clear uh, everything we procure and design should prioritize sustainability. Uh, that's not the Board of Supervisors. I'm talking about the Board of Metro. And whether that means further greening our fleet and enhancing first and last mile connections, we must prioritize sustainability. And we also have um, the opportunity to revamp and work on our unsolicited policy proposal to encourage more innovation. Uh, this ought to interest some of you here because this is an opportunity to advance uh, a green agenda and to push deeply into economic development and more. Now at the County of Los Angeles proper, we continue to show how PACE financing can uh, create a new uh, marketplace for investments and um, in energy and water. And just last week, the board uh, increased our bonding authority uh, to $2 billion alone just to move that agenda forward. So for us, uh, this is uh, what we describe as a game changer. And our focus in community choice aggregation, uh, this is a big deal. Uh, the county and many other cities uh, throughout uh, Los Angeles uh, County, and you'll know that would be 88 cities, are very interested in how we can bring together cheaper and greener energy to the entirety of this region, and while at the same time ensuring that there is economic inclusion in the creation of new low energy infrastructure. So let me just take a moment to take uh, you to a point of uh, concern that we're working on. Bill made reference to some of them. We pushed an agenda pretty uh, strongly on the question, Mel, of environmental health. And one of the issues uh, that pertain to this in terms of the quality of life of this region uh, pertains to that of homelessness. We distinguish ourselves uh, with 47,000 47, Angelinos who are homeless right now in this county. We're working on a multitude of issues. This is among them with some intensity and concern. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, it is about the quality of life. And we need to do all that we can to move a green agenda, but that is not to be narrowly defined. And so we take it to the ballot on March the 7th, and we do that because the people of Los Angeles have said they will not endure another day without us acting. And so we invite you to recognize Los Angeles County that's a county that's compassionate. It's a county of what's new, a county of what's next. It's a county that is making it happen. And we're delighted that you are here today. We welcome you with all our energy and trust that you will have a wonderful time in the Verde Exchange Conference 10 years in. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. <clears throat>